as you write more and more complex Autolist programs and start to deploy them around your network for other users, you may want to secure or compile your code so that it can't be accidentally or purposely modified by anyone else. In order to do this, we'll use the Visual Lisp Editor and utilize a function that is called VLisp Compile. The way this is going to work is, if you have a program that you have written, it will be in a .lsp file format, which is application source. We're now going to compile that into what's called a fast loadable or FAS format using VLisp Compile. So all you need to know is, what is the name of your program? What drive and path is it in? We then start the Visual Lisp Editor, which can be acquired here in the Manage tab of the ribbon, Visual Lisp Editor, come down here to the console line. I'll just go ahead and paste in the code, which I've already typed. The syntax, vlisp-compile, space, standard format, apostrophe st, then the fully qualified drive, path, and name of the file, contained in quotes. Please notice use of double backslashes to delineate paths. As soon as this is typed in and everything is correct, you simply hit enter, and that will submit it to the compiler. You'll now get some feedback, which I'll, I'll open up here and we can scroll back through there and we can see uh, some of the files that were actually found and things that were contained within it. Function list dumping, and it will say fast dump object format, and it tells us that an X Autolisp Julian.fas file has been created. The compiling is complete and it occurred without error. So let's go ahead and look in our file folder. And sure enough, there it is. Now the benefit to you is that this file, the julian.fas file, may now be loaded either individually using other tricks like loading from acaddoc.lsp, or it could be loaded in the startup suite, just as you would with any other LSP file. You simply use the .fas file suffix instead of .lsp. This file is now non-editable, so no one will be able to tamper with it. Now, a word of warning, don't lose your LSP file format because this FAS cannot be uncompiled. So please do not lose your application source, but you can compile that source to this FAS format and now use that as a secure way to deploy your Autolisp code around the network. Real simple, and again, the function was vlisp-compile. You can also look it up here in the help system. Just key in vlisp-compile, and it has all the documentation about the different compile modes. Uh, the most simple one that we looked at was the standard compile mode like this. So go ahead and have a look in there. I think you'll find this to be a useful tool for deploying Autolisp around your network. Good luck.